some very fall-like weather today, Shane, and not in a good way. Lots <laughs> of rain, just couldn't catch a break all day. We could not, and unfortunately, Matt, the rain's going to continue all day today on Friday, most of Saturday off and on, most of Sunday. It's not until next week where we see a little bit mm. of a break in the action. Your morning forecast looking pretty soggy, fast cast calling for off and on showers as we go into the morning. Let's go ahead and take a look at it over on the weather graphics computer. You'll see low 50s as we go into the morning commute. Off and on showers, just a dreary start to the day. And if you're still up and at it with us, happy Friday. TGIF, thanks for staying up with us. Let's go to Pinpoint Doppler now. Plenty of rain across the region, very light in nature. And even where it's not raining, you're getting drizzle, mist, just overall yucky conditions. Upper 50s right now through the Big Sandy. Some mid 50s and low 50s down in the Cumberland Valley. 55 over in London. Not quite as much rain once you move west of I-75. But still a little bit of drizzle showing up there uh, up into Rock Castle County. That cold front, which has been the focusing mechanism for the rain the last few days, slowly working off to the east. Hurricane Joaquin still almost stationary. Still a Category 4 hurricane. 135 mile per hour sustained winds. Folks, this thing was a lot stronger than we originally thought it was going to be. And it hasn't made that northern turn yet. It was looking like tonight, if all the computer data was right, it started heading north. It hasn't done that yet. Here's the latest update from the National Hurricane Center as of 11 o'clock. Forecast track keeping it out to sea. But the computer models are struggling. That cone of uncertainty really needs to be about 200 miles wider on either side. Right now, our latest run of our in-house computer model, the future view showing it's staying out to sea. Some models coming left, some models going right. At this point, it's just wait and see. No matter what happens, I think some moisture will end up streaming off of that storm and will bring us rain for the weekend. It's just how much, and that's going to depend on how close that storm gets. The closer it gets, the more rain we'll see. Here's a look at future view, though, tomorrow off and on showers throughout the entire day. We're doing guest weather tomorrow at the Apple Festival up in Paintsville. Pack the umbrella, but we'll be happy to have you come out and tell us about how wet it is out there during guest weather. Saturday, more rain, UK football game against EKU. Pack the ponchos, it's gonna be soggy. And wanna remind you, we do have that flash flood watch down in Lee and Wise County. That could be expanded. Here's the latest run of Future Views rainfall projections showing about two inches along the Virginia and West Virginia borders. That's by Saturday. Add another inch or two on top of that Sunday. We could have some high water problems. That's something we'll keep an eye out for. 70 for your high on Sunday, as long as we see a little break in the rain. If not, we could be into the 60s. That's still a little in question due to Joaquin. But it does look like high pressure should build back in by the middle of next week, Matt. And that means a return of sunshine, something we haven't seen in a long time. Yeah, looking forward to that, Shane, just settling into soggy weather for the weekend. It's just, it's going to be nasty. All right, Shane, thanks so much. Straight ahead.